news from the region, and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to this special web edition of Florida Focus. I'm Christina Cruz. Tampa General Hospital is one step closer to providing improved services for sick babies. The neonatal intensive care unit is expanding. Florida Focus reporter Ricky Nelson has more. Today marks a historic day for the neonatal intensive care unit at Tampa General Hospital. In December of 2006, Mr. and Mrs. Les Muma donated $6 million to USF Health. This began the Tiny Babies Big Priorities campaign to redesign and expand the nursery at TGH. The Mumas contributed to the expansion of the facility for many reasons. One, to have their daughter's name, Jennifer Lee, live on. And it's also emotional to us because it's named for our daughter that we lost here in the neonatal care back in, in the early 70s. So there's an emotional part to it as well. According to Tampa General Hospital, they average around 500 deliveries a month and 6,000 a year. And about 15% end up needing intensive care. Hospital staff look forward to what the new facility has to offer. Um, absolutely wonderful to be able to see um, our staff, um, our physicians, administration really come together at, at the moments and embrace and see the beginning of this project. It's just absolutely wonderful. The NICQ will expand from 19,000 square feet to 52,000. It will have more available beds and a larger family support area. With construction starting today, the Muma family, Tampa General Hospital, and USF Health are now one step closer to the completion of the Jennifer Lee Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. For Florida Focus, I'm Ricky Nelson. This new facility will also have a dedicated pharmacy, a large procedure room, and a family learning center. For more information on the construction of the NICU, visit tgh.org. Thanks for watching. I'm Christina Cruz. See you next time.